so hi guys that's my tutorial how to flash Cyan Gen Mod 13 on HTC Devout 310 and first flash the KitKat firmware so you need X flash 2 the card version I mean the Cyan Gen Mod 12.1 I have instructions in the description but here I will show you in the video because I think it's important to see it, how it happens so just make sure you want it in Windows 7 mode unless you already have Windows 7 so so run as administrator yes and here start reading the ROM so you can see here these are 220 so you can select both erase so and download or former upgrades in the both ways it will work fine so you can see format or and download i will use this one right now but this is it you can use format upgrade too so take the phone and connect it to the pc make sure you have removed the battery and everything and make sure you have turned on the program so you can see i click the button it's just waiting for the device so I'm connecting the phone holding the volume down button and it, you can see it starts flashing nothing comes to the device screen, that's normal, don't worry about this here we go so here you don't want to flash, you don't have to hold it anymore as you can see I'm not holding it is the only good flash that to take around I would say 7 minutes or 8 minutes just sit patiently and wait flashing let me show you how to install the clock driver so in the device manager right here um, click to show our device this, the hidden devices so here you can usually open this and somewhere here while you connect the phone for the first time you will get MTK pre-order right now I'm flashing and I cannot show you it but here you can see MediaTek, MediaTek port that's the driver installed so you can see here driver um, update driver from my PC and here that's my desktop from here you can click next and it will install driver autom automatically but it will give you a warning about it's not synced um, sometimes on some versions of Windows you won't be able to install drivers so you need another PC running um, Windows 7 Ultimate or Windows 10 Pro like mine to install the driver because without driver you most likely end with a heartbreak device you can see guys it's fi it finished so now I just put the battery in the phone and turn it on. Here we go. So now we just wait until it boots and continue the video. So here we go. Um, set your favorite language this one doesn't support many um, mobile network bullshit I don't have 3G next you it can't turn on Wi-Fi without switching this I will skip this skip this skip this you fucking skip everything here we go no just turn on the USB debugging Okay, where the heck was that? Okay, somewhere here I think I should get the developer settings. Here we go. Oops. These are they. And turn on the USB debugging. Okay, just imagine some shit and. Here we go, King Root. Um, yes.
So you will get this on your device. Just click OK. OK, always, tick always and OK. And here we go. So now it just connects and you're done. Just click root. It will start rooting like that and you get this in your device. Some after a few seconds it will show the percent. Um I'll just stop until it finishes. Oh it succeeded. I won't need this anymore. And now check out the phone. So in the SD card I have already pasted the files which I need to start recover recovering shit so just find them. They should be somewhere here. Mm. Yeah that's the MTK Druid tools. Oh fuck, I forgot about this. Um, stupid tank, no sources. Installing. And now the root browser, I should install it too. So now it just should reboot, recover, and flash, and the uh, auto update. Um, you can see here the instructions of the, in the video for Sanji Mod 1.1, but um, I decided to make a video to be more clear. Okay. Who oh, did, did this thing work so now? Um, I think that's the auto. I mean, what else can, could it be? So, I just missed it. So, again, flush it. Install the card. So, no, I think it will give me a roar. Yes, it did. And, just reboot right now. And the 310, I mean, on the 4.2.2, it also was giving to a was able to give you a run while you were flashing the auto to flash clockwork mode recovery but there's not much difference between this version so no it just puts so click so it's quite cool that KitKat boots so fast I mean so the ROMs could have already booted Okay, it's done I guess. And my sim battery is dying too I guess. Yeah, the book with the touch screen. Oh fucking shit. Um actually I had fucked up my email while I was trying to install some ROMs. It's my fault you usually won't get this. What, what, what? Okay, just walk the sensors. Like that, so you can use it much better now. And now go to system. Uh, find the build prop and edit it. So here I think here should be, yep this, um, just let me show you, these two things here, can you see them, yes I guess, um, ch change them to R Russia, I mean RU, oh, damn, oh my god it's so hard. Um, R, U, 
Here we go. Just like that. Oh fuck, I didn't save it. I'm saving it. And here we go. Yes. Done. And now, um, uh, you should go to mobile uncle tools and file recovery. Okay. Simple. Paste cake. So now you should click where is it where is it update to not recovery update that's um what we're really looking for here is it new recovery mg done well, that's actually pretty much it, so you can see it's simple and easy. Now just, oh my battery dying, I don't think it will be, it will be a problem. Okay, just wipe the ROM, the current 4.2.2 ROM. Come on, isn't it ready yet? Okay. Style zip, SD card one, and here is it, Sound Gemo 13. Install it. This takes around 3 minutes. So, let's pause. My battery almost died while I was doing this, but anyway, I forced gaps in the ROM and now I will reboot. As you can see here. And now, here we go. Uh, first boot, and the steel will take some time. That's it, guys. Please like and subscribe for more videos. And bye.